Let's take a quick look at some of the great independent games we're going to be playing soon. Oh, yeah, but... Oh. Hit us with the indies. <laughs> Cuphead. I like this music. Oh yeah, Outlast too. Yeah. The Lorus the Moon. Lynch up. I think Deliver Us the Moon Car. was made by the same people who did Gone Home, but I may be wrong with that. What was that? Shadow Tactics? That looked cool. The Calling? Oh, that looks cool. Stardew Valley, I like Stardew Valley. Oh, that's good, yes. Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate, I played that. Oh, the yeah. first one. That guy's creepy looking. <laughs> Raiders. Bloodstained. Ukulele. Everspace. Everspace, ooh. That looks cool. Some of these look cool. Mm-hmm. Oh. Risk takers, rule breakers, game changers. So not the triple A space then. <laughs> that was rad. You know, it has been awesome to see the incredible creative and commercial success independent teams are having on Xbox One. With multiple million sellers and hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue going to independent studios. One game that's already broken the million seller mark is Ark Survival Evolved from our friends at Studio Wildcard. Bart? For those Ark. of you who have already bought Ark on Xbox One, you'll be just able to said, play it on Windows 10 PCs this fall at no additional cost thanks to Xbox Play. That's kind of cool that they're doing that. Yeah. Pretty With cool. all a bunch of games. So, Ark is part of Xbox Game I've heard that the Windows 10 enables because they're not executables, they, they sort of like the have some sort of the issues. A huge success with both players yeah, and but I don't think that's how they're doing it. I think it's like the actual game. Xbox game preview soon, including Slime Rancher, The Color, oh, no. Everspace, Daisy, <laughs> and a whole lot more. <laughs>